Hi, welcome back. Today we will create flows and subflows in MuleSoft and we'll understand the difference between them. So we have a demo project created and this demo project has a calculator flow configuration file and this file has just one flow called as calculator flow and by seeing this flow we can say that the flow is connected collection of multiple mule components. So here multiple mule components are connected together in the calculator flow and also this has error handling scope. So let's quickly run this calculator app and see how it is working. This calculator app is taking two numbers as input and as a result it is giving added and multiplied result. Right? It is taking number as input and it is adding those numbers and also multiplying those numbers and giving us the response. So this calculator flow as multiple functionality. Example, it is adding the numbers and also it is multiplying the numbers. So here we can see we have multiple uh, HTTP calls and error handler scope where we can handle the errors. If we want to handle internal server error or specific error, we can handle it. So to understand the flows better, let's add the flow component to the configuration file. And this flow has event source, and processors and also error handling scope. This source uh, will represent the components which triggers the execution of the flow. Example, HTTP listener is something that triggers the execution of the flow. Uh, there can be scheduler or JMS components which will start the execution of the flow. So processor can be transform messages, loggers or HTTP request calls, so on. And error handling scope, as I mentioned earlier, it can handle the errors. If you want to handle specific errors, you can use this error handling scope. So let's add the scheduler component to this configuration file. So each mule component that we add to the configuration file, by default, it, it is creating a flow. So this scheduler has created a flow. So this is event source. This is an example of event source. This triggers the execution of the flow after uh, particular interval of time. So similarly, we have a JMS component. So every time we get some new JMS message, it accepts this, that message and triggers the execution of the flow. So for example, on new message component, this will be keep listening to the JMS messages. So each mule component will be present in the scope of the flow. So this is also an example of event event source component. So similarly, we have HTTP listener, even that is a that is a component that triggers the execution of the flow. Even this is a event source component. So in processors, we can have transform messages, loggers and uh, HTTP request calls, so on. So let's uh, remove this uh, flow because we already have a calculator flow which has HTTP listener and multiple HTTP request calls. So similarly let's add subflow component as well and now let's compare the flow and subflow and in subflows we don't see the event source processors or error handling scopes just like how it was there in flow the subflow doesn't have the event sources and all. So if you have a flow with multiple functionalities together and you can break that flow into multiple discrete flows or subflows. In this case, calculator flow as add functionality and multiply functionalities and at the end we are giving the consolidated response. So we have multiple functionalities together in just one calculator flow. In that case, we can break this calculator flow into multiple subflows. So let's start creating a subflow. Let's name the submodule as call API1 and let's move the mule components that are specific to add functionality. So we have a transform message where we are building the request for HTTP request call. So there is a HTTP request component and also logger. So 
this call api1 this subflow is representing the add functionality so we can create the subflows if you if you have some uh, functionalities and you want to segregate it and uh, create a discrete flow you can use the subflows based on the functionality you can create a you can break the flows and create subflows and let's create one more flow for multiplied functionality so let's move the components that are specific for multiplications there is a transfer message to build the request and http call and also we are logging the response so we are uh, calling the request and once we get the request we are saving the response as response 1 and response 2 variables so we are logging the response as it is by using logger components so this way we broke the flow into subflows based on their functionalities based on the functionalities that we have so we have add and multiply functionality and we have created two subflows so let's name the flow as call api2 just like the call api1 flow so now we have the subflows created and to call the flows or subflows we have to use the flow references like how we create functions and call them this is a similar uh, to calling functions so to call the flows we will use flow references so you can call flows or subflows by using flow references here we have to give the name of the flow which we want to call in this case let's call the add functionality first call api1 and let's name the flow reference and next we will call the multiply functionality that's the second subflow call api2 so now we are http listener is a event source component that is triggering the execution of the flow and we are calling the add and multiply functionalities by using the flow references and at the end in the transfer message we are consolidating the response and giving it to the user so finally we are using a logger component to log the response so we have created a flow we have seen what is flow and what is event source and process components and error handling component so if you want to handle the errors specific errors you can always use error handling scope and add the specific error type it can be internal server error bad request not found or composite routing error so on so now we, if we see the re http request component we can see that we have a response saved in a variable right response 1 and response 2 variables and we are going to use the same variables to for response mapping later in the calculator flow so we are calling add and multiply functionality and saving the responses and in the final uh, output payload we are getting we are building the consolidated response and giving it to the user so let's run the api so let it get deployed Yes, we are getting the response as expected so listener is a event source that is listening to http request and st starting the execution of the flow and we have uh, multiple subflow calls by using flow references and at the end we are consolidating the response and giving it to the user so if you want to handle the errors you can use uh, the error handling scopes as discussed so that's the difference about flows and subflows thank you see you in next session